Yo, it's me, the Zed, and today we will discuss the new update for the TNV e custom firmware. At first, check this really awesome icon zero of the TNV update. The TNV update, its first one, is around 300 kilobyte. So let's launch it. If you're using a PS Vita with TNV version 1, just go to the system update and download it. It should download itself. If you've downloaded it, just go into the game category and choose it manually. So yeah, that's pretty much a change log. Added an option in advance in the recovery menu. Added a possibility to launch backups from the save data folder. It's pretty nice. Then you're able to move these backups to MS0 slash ISO. Then it supports custom PS1 um, document.dat files and other um, changes for optimizing the playback of um, backups for preventing the bug that the settings get resetted and he optimized the recovery menu um, I've already installed the update so I just close it The system software says now 6.60 TNV2. Um, like I said, just use this option and download TNV. It should download itself and then it should look like this. Just run this and if you're done you can delete it. Um, interesting is start internet search delete information same with the backup if we now choose the new function you will see a copy option um, this worms game is stored in the save data folder of the exploit it's around 200 megabyte and with the copy feature you want to copy yes we can move it into the ISO folder without leaving the XMB which is actually pretty cool now you can um, unzip um, the install.zip files for homebrews and you can move your backups from the exploit safe, safe data folder to the ISO folder so you don't have to use PSP filer or bulky menus for this you can just do it in the XMB which is pretty nice It's it uh, reminds me as a, as a PSP Go owner of the copy feature for copying files from the internal storage to the memory stick and the other way around so it's really nice that he integrated this feature do you want to delete this file? Um, for now I will say no it's recommended to say yes so you save the space then you have to leave the um, the game tab just press once like the save data folder and then back to the game so it refreshes the list now we have worms at the top this is the moved worms. Let's enable some sound. This is the moved worms. It should start some problems, and it does. It was well. It was likely the smallest backup I've had. So, 200 MB is not that large, and copying was not that slow um, yeah let's exit it this was the worms version I've booted from the ISO folder which I just moved 
but since the update says you can also launch the one from the save data folder that's why I have not deleted this last one let's launch this one it will launch from the save data folder instead of the ISO folder and it should launch and it does launch nice so let's just quit this um, yeah it's now it's possible to move and launch um, games from the save data folder then we have um, some optimizations for preventing the the resetting of the system the system settings like the name you locked in PSN status like the color of the wave and other stuff and the last one was that you have some changes in the recovery menu if you look very closely I can use the arrow keys for entering and leaving the menu and it's now possible to change some options without that the cursor jumps to the top this was in the TNV version 1 and in the old M33 recovery menus um, it's a pretty old feature and some user might find it annoying um, I don't know if you knew this but if you press triangle the cursor will instantly move to the top which is pretty cool I did not know this and it's integrated since M33 and like TN said you have the delete ISO catch option under, under advanced if um, you have some bugs just use this option it should fix some bugs and well yeah um, I've hex edited this so it would usually say um, N NPEH then some zeros and 20 for the um, UNO exploit but I think this is this looks much better than the uh, bulky safe data the bulky safe data um, path so I prefer this and you can also exit with the arrow keys I really like that you can use the arrow keys in the recovery menu so you can um, maintain the recovery menu with one hand or it's pretty cool otherwise it's uh, the usual XMB stuff um, the features that were working before like uh, like using the um, on-screen keyboard of the PS Vita like if I want to change my name I can use the touchscreen keyboard I borrowed it so it's pretty much a nice update um, it does everything it promises you have some nice new recovery menu changes you have um, bugs fixed, a lot of bugs are fixed, um, PSP Fighter was crashing for me um, except when I've used the plugin for enabling 1.5 kernel homebrews and I'm very sure that it's not a 1.5 kernel homebrew and now it's working, it's very nice and the recovery menu changes are nice and that you can boot and move um, ISO files from a safe data folder TN did really good work with this and well, let's see what he does for TN version 3. And that, and see you soon.